What's good, everyone? Giant Opinions. Breaking MLB news right at the end of the deadline. Whit Merrifield is getting traded to the Toronto Blue Jays, and in exchange, the Jays are giving up Max Castillo, right-handed relief pitcher, and they're also giving up Samad Taylor, who is a second baseman and outfielder, and is the Blue Jays' 16th-ranked prospect. So, what are the Jays getting in Whit Merrifield? Well, Whit Merrifield has usually been one of the most underrated players in baseball, just because he's more of a pure contact hitter who plays a solid glove and is very fast and steals a lot of bags. But this season, he's having a down year, batting around 240, an OPS that's below 700. And when you check the splits too, he's struggling versus both sides. It's not necessarily only versus right-handed pitching. But Whit Merrifield still has 15 stolen bags on the year. So he'll provide that to the Toronto Blue Jays. He also has versatility, second base, or the entire outfield. So the Blue Jays can platoon him or use him every day, kind of wherever they want. At least at this point in time, I'm thinking they're going to platoon him with Kevin Biggio out at second base. And that's not a bad idea. I think it's really just fixing his swing. Something is just is not clicking this season with him offensively. He's still fine with the glove, though. Like I said, he, and he has team control until 2023 guaranteed. And I think there's a option for 2024, but both sides might have to pick that up if I'm correct. So for the Blue Jays, they're just improving their offense even more. They're really relying on, on the offense carrying them far into the playoffs, assuming they make it. So it's a solid move. They didn't really give up too much. Now for the Royals, uh, Samad Taylor, he's right about MLB ready. He's in AAA right now. His projected uh, ETA to get called up into the big leagues is 2022. He's batting around 250 in AAA right now. OPS of around 700. I think he's almost about ready. Now the thing is, he does he's not really a power bat, so he's not a flashy type of player, but he's still solid, more of a pure contact hitter. He does strike out a little bit too much more than he does take walks, which is something he will need to work on at the big leagues, but he's very fast too. MLB Pipeline has got him graded as a 60 with the speed, so he's very solid. I mean, I could definitely see him being called up for the Kansas City Royals, who are just trying to get younger because they're, they're in a sell-off mode. Obviously, Benintendi is gone, and now with Merrifield, so it's a whole new era in Kansas City. I like him as a potential good or as a potential good or solid player, worst case, for the Royals. And Max Castillo, he has gotten called up to the big league, so he is the he's had MLB experience and he's been fine. He had a three ERA this season. He recently just got sent down, uh, but he's pitched around, I think 20 innings has 20 strikeouts. Uh, so he's solid, could be a decent relief pitcher for them, but I don't know, man. I think the Royals really should have sold Merrifield last year where his value was very high because they could have gotten a lot more than this. That's for sure. So for the Toronto Blue Jays, I'm going to grade this around a I'll give it a B plus just because he's struggling this season. I don't really have full confidence he's going to bat like 340 in the second half or anything like that, but they're not giving up too much either. I mean, let's be real. Samad Taylor would not would not have had a spot with the Blue Jays anyways because they're infield. So, and for the Royals, I'm going to give this, I'll give it a, I'll give it around a B because considering the season he's had, this is probably the, sadly, the best value he would have commanded from any type of team. But I can't give it higher because I don't see Taylor being a superstar. I don't see uh, Max Castillo being one of the best relief pitchers in baseball. I just don't see it. So let me know what you think, Jays and Royals fans. I'd love to hear all and anything. And yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.